friends this is lakhan welcome to my youtube channel the knowledge show and in this video i'm going to explain how will you handle the missing value in your data yes friends so if you are facing some challenges where you have missing value and you are calculating something but the number not reflecting correctly because of the missing value so how will you handle such kind of situation uh, arise uh, in your model right so now let's start today video so stay tuned till the end so that you can get some knowledge inform uh, or information over here right so let's start video friends so as you can see on my screen I have a product table where I have a product I have a three products as you can see but I have four products because the four products the value is zero so not showing here right so associated amount and discount as you can see on my screen so if I say if I provide 20 MR 20 discount over 100 so my net amount would be 80 right so if I say so 80 percent is my net amount if I calculate net, net amount over here and if I say uh, the fruit is 120 and discount is 5 so some some about 96 or more than that will be reflect here net amount as a net amount right and then same for vegetable because I do not provide any discount so the net amount should be here should be zero because I'm looking the net amount based on the discounts but because I have a missing value so it will reflect a hundred percent because but it, it is not an exact value so let me show you with, with the example so now let me calculate the net amount after discount right so now let me add the measure say net amount net amount one percentage right sum of sum of discount divided by the sum of amount right and minus from one so it will give me the net amount right so let's see now add back to my table so now let's see let's change the percentage zero decimal point So I have read 80% amount, net amount, drink 100% but I do not have any numbers here so it should be a blank or zero or something else, right? So this situation could be arisen in your data because I have a very limited number so I can see easily but in your data you have a huge numbers, right? And huge data so how can you identify one by one, right? So uh, because uh, so you can add uh, some uh, precautionary measures before uh, you are calculating such kind of calculation in your data so how can you do that how can you deal with the blank values right so let me show you uh, let me add the another another measure with the correct value see net amount to percentage right so that we can easily identify right but I'm saying uh, I'm declaring a variable saying discount percentage this is the variable dividing I'm dividing the discount number by amount right now return it may it will return the 
the term if if not is blank the variable name discount percentage then one minus discount and bracket close so let me explain so i'm just what i did in my previous major where i did the net amount so i just uh, what i did just uh, calculating by discount divided by amounts and just it will give me the discount numbers and it will store the discount percentage and then what i'm what i did uh, it will return a value based on the conditions where i'm saying not is blank where the the cell value where the discount value is not blank then it give me the exact percentage one minus discount right so now let me add this measure into my table right let's see the impact let's change the percentage right you can see so for bread 80 percent but drink i do not have any amount of discount so it, it giving me a zero or blank right and fruits 96 percent because i do not provide the discount for two items drinks and vegetables so not showing here because we have a blank value or blank cells right so here is a 90 percent uh 90 percent my net amount based on the discount amount i have provided right so this is the correct calculation so with that ways you can handle the blank value if you face similar kind of challenges in your data i just show the blank value how will you handle so thank you for watching